So CoQ hole is a drilling, a training exercise. It's for that CoQ moment that I demonstrated yesterday, yesterday's video, okay? You, you have to uh, be able to project their line of gravity way outside of an athlete's ability to reposition their base of support back under it, okay? So when you do a momentum throw, the, the athlete is always going to be able to get their base of support back underneath that line of gravity. Okay, so the art is based upon, in part, that CoQ projection. Okay, and so here you're doing a drill where you repeat over and over and over that moment. That's what drills do. Just work on that one moment. Okay? And so for the sake of repeating that moment, the projection moment, uh, everything else is kind of idealized and controlled. It's irrelevant. Okay? So um, I don't want to do any kind of tilting of this body. I'm not doing this kind of stuff. So what is this kind of stuff? Well, in essence, you're taking this line of gravity and moving it outside his base of support. You see that? But as I turn him here, and he can she go underneath it. You see? And then it's not gonna work. So why did it work before? Because he left his base of support there and then he eventually will fall. You understand that? Okay. So that is to me, that is not called cue hole. This is not called cue hole. This is just, I don't know, low level momentum throwing. Got it? Okay. So, um, what we're doing is taking his uh, energy, letting it pass through me, come down to the ground, let it pass back out through me, rebound, and that displaces him like he gets like a jolt of, boom, like if something pushed him, okay? But it's energetic. It's not with my actual hands, okay? So we're going to uh, take out the final part even, this part. Okay, that's working on another aspect of CoQ. And we're just gonna focus on the projection part, okay? Um, so I am going to, he's going to, by drill design, uh, connect to my center. So he's not just holding my wrist here. Okay. What do I mean by connect to my center is he comes in, establishes the center relationship to where a little extra and I can project him out. Do you got it? So I'm not sitting here. This is a whole pop. And you could do that if that was your role, but that is not your role. Your role is to get to his center here. Okay, just prior to projection. So he's doing that, okay? And I send that energy down. It's not in my shoulders, send it down. And now I am going to increase his yang value in this drill. So his pushing, that's yang, I'm going to increase it with a slight yield, boom. And that is what I use to project back out. I can increase his yang value with the my exercise. So you gotta get the first one. He's gonna come in and I'm gonna take that. You see his intention to come in. His intention to grab and feel my center here. I'm gonna make him continue that intention here, but not with this bent elbow, okay? So you'll get one, oh. You'll come in and I'm loading. Some of the things you'll notice, my arms are not bending at the elbows coming out. You see that? Now. 
What I want to do as purely as possible is to have his young energy bounce off of me. Okay, so that means my arms don't have to go in and they don't have to go out. So, pop. I'm gonna load foam. This shape is irrelevant. Where my arms are. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if it's two or one. The energy is coming in because I take advantage of his intention, bring it a little bit past where he wanted it to go. That increases the yang value. I let that rebound off of me. Okay? Another thing you'll see um, is beside my arms not going in and out and extending, my torso does not stay still. I'm uh, not going here straight. My body is moving. Body move. Boom. Right here, I yield. Extend, yield. It's not in the arms. Okay? Thirdly, I'm not bracing. So I don't want to have this pelvic tilt here where he's pushing in. Uh, I'm straightening the heck out of that. Your back should be flat, just like Zazen. So my back is flat. Never here. That's terrible. What I can't do is uh, tense up. Just like I don't want to brace here. I don't want to extend my arms. All of that goes with trying to push him over. And that's not what we're doing. We're trying to get his energy to go through me and bounce back out of me. I'm not trying to push him over. Got it? It's different. Uh, in order to have his energy go through me, I can't be tense. It doesn't go through me. It gets stuck here at his grip, okay? So I'm very relaxed. Don't pay attention to him. Pay attention to my arms. You can see how loose hands are and stuff, okay? You will block the energy if you tense up here. And it'll go superficial, it won't go internal, okay? Okay, some other things so, um, that are telling you you're not doing it. So we mentioned this stuff, you see. Um, and then your torso is straight up and down. Uh, this saddle here. Okay, same thing when your butt comes up. If you're doing this right, your butt goes down. Butt goes down. Energy goes down, not, not up. You see that? The energy's down. The other thing is, uh, if he increases the pressure, it's easier to project. It's harder to project on people if you disengage the pressure, okay? But if you're doing it superficially, externally, when they increase the pressure, that will get harder for you, okay? So he's, he's going to try to really jam me up. You see? We'll be able to make smaller movements and get. Don't get weak. Do you understand? <laughs> so, uh, let us. You're going to get tired because you're like, shh. But if you try hard enough, you'll actually rest more because you'll probably fold 90% of the class. You get it? Got it? Okay, let's try it.
Aikido Kazushi is about reducing energy and mass. So the most efficient way of creating a topsy-turvy effect is on this diagonal here. This diagonal here. This diagonal here. Okay, you got it? Uh, but that means if I'm trying to train, that is going to be um, a less efficient way of drilling. Basically, you're using less weight on the bar. If you're trying to do a bench press and you're taking weight off, that's what you do in Kazushi, okay? But in drilling in Kokyu Po, you don't take the weight off, you try to keep the weight on, so to speak. It's not really weight, but you're trying to keep as much energy in the technique as possible, okay? So, uh, you don't, I don't want to tilt him and then project. Tilt him and then project, you understand? So if you pay attention, uh, especially as he started really shutting me, I'm not trying to do anything with his uh, elbows and shoulders and things like that, okay? So to help you, uh, we're just gonna go back straight back. Do a shove, shove arm, okay, got it? So there's no, lean of this person or anything like that. So same drill as last time. Uke is going to try to overpower it. Uh, it what's going to happen is that's going to kick in your fear instinct. You're going to muscle on it. The energy will not pass through you. It will be superficial. It will be caught at the grip. They're likely going to overpower you if they're stronger than you. Okay. Instead, they're going to push in. You're going to release. Boom, let it bounce down, back out, and straight through their mass with no leaning whatsoever of their mass, okay? It is important that you're not thinking like, oh, skeletal alignment, it's not, it's not skeletal alignment, okay? So you can come back, you see, and you're gonna have it again. So, uh, why does that work? Well, if his energy was passing through me here down to the ground just because I'm moving my hand forward, that energy is still passing through me to the ground. Do you, do you get that? And so as I go forward, I'm not going mm, forward. This energy is passing. The energy of me moving forward goes back through the ground, comes back out through the hand. Okay? Yeah. Try it.